A rectangle is four times longer than its width. The area of this rectangle is 20 centimeters squared. Find the length and the width of the rectangle. Okay, so that is the question. Feel free to use a calculator, but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. Then of course, I'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need assistance in learning mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this problem. And uh, first, we want to just recognize that we're dealing with a math word problem, so you always want to apply the rule of three. Now this is my rule, but um, it served me well and served my students pretty well. And the rule of three is the following. Just don't read a problem one time and then just start doing stuff. So what can happen is you're like, oh, I see the problem. I know exactly what to do. And you'll start doing all this stuff. And then, then you'll kind of discover after maybe a minute or two, potentially, not all the time, but very often than not, you'll kind of go down a road that you'll be like, you know what, maybe that wasn't the best road. Then you'll return back to the problem and you'll be like, oh, this is a better way to do the problem. And then you'll go in this direction. So what you're doing here is wasting time and all of this could be avoided if you just stop and pause. This is a critical part uh, to solving any problem. But once you've understood the problem by reading it three times and making sure you understand the question, what we want to do is try to model the information in the problem. And this is pretty easy because we're dealing with a rectangle. So it's probably a good idea to draw a rectangle and then try to uh, basically um, match what's going on in this word problem to a figure. Now, before I show you this uh, little rectangle, uh, we need to kind of use a variable here because we have an unknown value. So we're trying to determine the length and the width, but there's a relationship between the length and the width. So we have to establish some variable. I'll use the variable x, and uh, let's make this easy on ourselves. Let's let the uh, width uh, be equal, uh, equal to this variable x. So whatever the width is equal, or whatever the width is, uh, rather, let's kind of do it this way. Let's let that equal to x. So this is the way I'm gonna do it. You could let x equal uh, uh, to the length, but that would be a little bit more complicated. So if you want to go ahead and try to construct a model with X uh, being a variable that represents the width, we'll go ahead and try to do that right now. I'm going to show you what's going on, at least in terms of uh, this setup right now. Okay, so here is our lovely rectangle, and here is our width. Uh, of course, it is X units long. Now, a couple things about the, a rectangle. I'll get to the length here in a second. So a rectangle, by definition, is a qu uh, quadrilateral where uh, the corners are 90 degrees. Now I know this is kind of technical, but we need to understand what a rectangle is. Basically, opposite sides are congruent. In other words, the length uh, over here is the same length over here, and over here the width is the same length over here. So basically, if the width uh, is x units long here, it's also x units long here, and the length is 4x. Now, why is this 4x? Well, hopefully you figure this part out because the length is four times longer than the width, okay? So that is the length, now four times longer. Not So this right here, if the width is four and the length is four times longer, it means it's gonna be four X, not four plus X. That would be four more than the width. Four times the width is four X. So you gotta be very careful with this and always double, triple check that in fact you interpreted the information in the prom correctly because, you know, if you didn't, you can kind of, you know, double, you know, kind of go back and say, all right, let me double check, triple check because you don't want to go any further until you get the model of this situation down as well as you can. Okay, so here is our rectangle. We have the width and we have the length expressed as x and 4x, where x is equal to the width. But we also know that the area of this rectangle is 20 centimeters squared. Now, this is critical because we can't determine what these values or what the value of x is. Uh, and of course, that represents our width and 4x is our length. We can't find what x is unless we have an equation, 
Okay, so this is the next step. And most algebra work, uh, word problems work the same way. You're going to assign a variable to represent something, a variable or variables, depending on the type of, the, uh, type of problem that you're dealing with. And then you're going to use all the information in the problem to construct uh, an equation. So once you have this equation, you can solve this equation. And of course, you're solving for these unknown values. But in this particular uh, problem, we need to know this simple formula of the area of a rectangle. And the area of a rectangle is equal to the length times the width. Hopefully you knew that, but if you didn't, uh, well, of course, you do need to know this in order to solve this problem. Okay, so um, most of you should be uh, kind of seeing where I'm going with this problem. We have the length here. We have the width, so we can just uh, plug in x and 4x for the length and the width. And we know the area is 20 centimeters squared, so that's what the area is equal to. So hopefully it's pretty obvious on what type of equation we're going to build. Let's go ahead and see it right now. Okay, so the area, again, is length times the width. We have the length. We have the width. So the area equal the length times the width. So we'll substitute the length, which is what? 4x. The width is x. So 4x times x is 4x squared. So this is what the area is equal to. But the area is also equal to this, okay, which is 20 centimeters squared. So we can drop the units of measure here uh, in a second and just kind of uh, basically... Um, have this expressed in this way, 4x squared is equal to 20. Okay, so the length times the width, which is the area, is 4x squared, and the actual area is 20. So now we have a lovely equation, but this type of equation right here is a quadratic equation, and hopefully you know how to solve one. If you do not, um, I'll show you how to solve this basic quadratic equation here in just one second. Then, of course, if you need help with this type of stuff or more algebra help, I'll give you some suggestions. Now, before I finish this problem, take a quick second and consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help my channel grow on YouTube. And the whole reason I want my channel to grow on YouTube is so I can reach as many people as possible and help them in mathematics. I look at every person that uh, has subscribed. Now, by the way, if you have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. But if you do subscribe to my channel, I consider all of you like students of mine. So I really try to be conscientious and post high quality math content. And my channel covers everything from basic math to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. Now, if you need math support, if you really need to learn mathematics, you definitely have to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. And if you are going to subscribe, make sure to hit that bell notification as well so you can get alerts when I post a new video. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up this problem. So here is our lovely uh, equation, 4x squared is equal to 20. Uh, again, I hope you have the skills to solve this quadratic equation. There's all different types of equations in mathematics and especially algebra. You have linear equations. We have quadratic uh, equations. You have systems of equations. You have uh, exponential equations, logarithmic equations. You have rational equations, radical. You, you get what I'm <laughs> kind of getting at. So you can't just say, oh, I want to learn how to solve equations in algebra. No, you, you, there's a lot to learn. So this is a quadratic equation, uh, meaning that there will be two solutions, uh, either real or imaginary. In this case, we were, we're going to have two real uh, solutions. So how do you solve this? Very, very easy. Uh, this particular quadratic equation is very easy because we don't have an x term. So what we can do here is isolate this x squared by dividing both sides of the equation by 4. Okay, so when we do this, we're going to get 4 divided by 4, of course, is 1x squared or x squared. And 20 divided by 4 is 5. All right, so at this point, we have x squared is equal to 5. So to solve this uh, equ equation right here, all we have to do is take the square root of both sides. So the square root of x squared is x. And the square root of 5 is both positive and negative 5. So x uh, is equal to square root of 5 is one solution. And x is equal to negative square root of 5 is the other solution. Now, because we're dealing with an actual, like, you know, uh, object here, uh, you know, a rectangle with actual measurements, we're going to throw out this negative value. So we're not, we're not going to be dealing with negative centimeters. We're going to be dealing with positive centimeters. So we'll keep this as our answer. Or as our answer. So x is equal to the square root of 5 is the correct answer. Okay, but what does that represent? Well, remember, x is the width. 
So x is equal to the square root of 5 centimeters. Remember, our area was uh, centimeters squared. So when we uh, took the square root of this uh, of centimeters squared, we ended up with centimeters. You have to really be careful with units of measure. If you don't put these units of measure uh, you know, in your solution on a test or exam, it's possible that your teacher uh, could dock you some points, okay? So you don't want to be this person on a test and get everything right and be like, but teacher, teacher, you know, I got it right. But like, hey, you know, you got to make sure you understand the actual, you know, uh, solution to the problem. So units of measure are important. Okay, so the width is uh, square root of 5 centimeters. And remember, the length is 4x. So if x is the square root of 5, so we're just going to take that 4 and multiply it by the square root of 5. Again, it's centimeters. So this is our length. And this is the solution to the problem. Okay, so again, we're dealing with, uh, you know, algebra, uh, word problems. And depending upon what uh, topic you're studying in algebra, whether it's systems or quadratic equations or linear equations or exponential equations, doesn't make a difference. You're going to have word problems in these various particular uh, topics. So how do you get better at word problems? Well, before you start doing a bunch of word problems, make sure you have the underlying skills first. Okay, so make sure you know how to solve quadratic equations, linear equations, et cetera, et cetera, and then apply those skills to uh, solve word problems. And the way you get better at word problems is through practice, practice, practice. And if you want to solve more word problems with me, go to my YouTube channel. I have a ton of additional word problems. I really enjoy uh, posting those type of problems because they are interesting and, you know, a bit of a challenge. But if this particular video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.